Yo, what's up, Jesse? This is your man Levi here. I'm really excited to be part of your uh, Ride to Conquer Cancer and your prep and strength and conditioning to make you a better, stronger, faster rider, my man. Okay, so today is day number 27. We're rolling along here. Just remember, tomorrow is yoga in the park on top of Mount Tomi. But today is online personal training with my man Levi James. I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be awesome. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a great Saturday. So first we're going to start with a nice mobility exercise uh, program designed specifically to get your hips, get your quads, get your glutes, and get everything nice and warm, get the joints going, and uh, just kind of increase your overall mobility. So first we're going to do is just going to do some basic arm circles. Keep your knees relatively soft, feet right underneath your hips. You act like you're scooping water up. Bring your arms up and around, elbows nice and close to the ears, and then you're internally rotating and pulling the shoulders all the way back. So I'll show you that from the back here. As the hands come up overhead, bring the elbows in nice and close to your ears, turn your thumbs down and squeeze your shoulder blades together, pull your arms as far back as you can, creating nice big circles. What this is going to do is going to open up the whole shoulder capsule and shoulder girdle and get you a much better stretch open up the shoulders a little bit. So we're going to do 20 of these, thinking palms up, palms down, nice and slow. So that way we get all the muscles working. So we don't spin just through, we're just using momentum, we want to slow it down. This way we also find out if you have any stalls in the range of movement. So if you feel any like quick little twinges or anything like that, we'll be able to deal with that before we put you under load or under more tension. Five, four, three, two and one good give it a bit of a shake out now we're gonna go the opposite direction we're gonna bring the palms down and as we bring the palms down we're gonna pull the shoulder blades apart as the hands come down here we're gonna turn the thumbs up and externally rotate the shoulders pull the shoulder blades together hands come up ears hands nice and close together all the way up and over and again we're focusing more on what's going on with your shoulder blades not necessarily the arms because if you control what's going on between your shoulder blades and upper shoulder area and upper back area, your arms are going to follow. Okay, again, nice and slow. Rotate through, pull the shoulder blades together. You may get a few clicks and pops up in the shoulder, but as long as there's no sharp stabbing pain, you should be okay. It's pretty normal. All right, four, three, two, one. Good, break it off. Okay, so what we're going to do across is a nice transverse slice right across the top. One over two over and then again turn the thumbs up opening up the shoulders we don't want to keep them down we want to make sure you open up the shoulders that way we don't impinge any of the smaller muscles on the top side front of the shoulder two open two open ah. there you go one two and open and think about your elbows almost fully crossing so it's not just the hands get the elbows right in there so you fully contract your chest muscles working the upper shoulders and then upper back as you pull apart three two and one, perfect. Okay, so next we're gonna do is we're gonna start working a bit more of the lower body, but still incorporating the upper body as a full unit. So you're gonna start reaching up as high as you can. So it's not just a passive hands up over your head. You wanna reach your hands up. I prefer to point my thumbs up. That way I'm sort of in a neutral grip, still opening up and engaging the shoulders. From here, we're not just gonna bend just passively. We're gonna hinge from the waist, pushing the hips back, squeeze the quads, reach down and touch your toes. Now, if you can't get all the way down to your toes because you have tight calves or hamstrings, you can bring your hands to your shins or even to your knees. Hopefully after doing this for a while, you'll be able to get your hands right down here and potentially right down low. So that's point one. Now we're gonna bring hips down nice and low into a nice deep squat. Heel, hips right over top of the, the uh, heels. Knees out over the toes. But contrary to popular belief, it is totally fine to have your knees extend past the toes as long as your hips are right down near your heels. It gives you a nice stretch in the knees and it gives you full range of motion in the hips as well. So from here, we're going to raise the hands straight up and then stand back up. So this is position one, reach down is two, hips down three, hands up, stand up is four. Again from the side, reach up, two, three, four, and stand up. Okay, one more time, again reaching down, make sure you get a good feel of the stretch in your hamstrings, bring your hips low, nice and slow and controlled, don't just drop into it. Hands come up, squeeze your shoulder blades together, keep your head up, and stand up. 
Perfect. Okay, now that we got that taken care of, we're gonna work a little bit more on the inner thighs and the glutes. So, get your hands underneath your shoulders. Now this is very important to line this up properly. We don't want to keep the shoulders back because that puts a lot of sheer force in the shoulder capsule right there on the front side. You could probably injure yourself a little bit. So you want to make sure your shoulder is right over top of your index finger on either side. Okay? You're going to push into the ground pulling your shoulder blades apart and that's going to give you a lot of support and stability in the upper body. Especially when you're riding and getting all that road noise. Very important to have a good stable upper body. So what we're going to do is going to step up nice and high with the right foot near the right hand, making sure to keep the back leg nice and straight. So you can actually push it nice and straight. Taking your right hand, you're going to reach up, turn your thumb up and away as you keep that leg straight, and bring over as far as you can. Feeling a nice stretch in the lower back, stretching out the glutes, stretching out the hamstring in the back of the side. Then you're going to bring the elbow down, point it towards the ground on the inside of the foot, still keeping that back leg straight, and you're trying to get your forearm right down to the ground, parallel to the ground. Down here, take a deep breath in, breathe out, and reach up over as far as you can. Okay, you can do five of these per side, nice and slow, counting almost to three. Three, two, one, hold up, three, two, one, and then back down. When you've done five on that side, you're just gonna switch sides, nice and easy. Bring the other side up, again, sitting down into that plank lunge, back leg straight, not necessarily bent, much better if it's straight. Pushing and planting through the right hand, reach up with the left. Keep that back leg straight, reach over as far as you can. And then again, come down, bring your elbow towards the ground, trying to get your forearm sitting right down on the ground. Breathing the whole time. Reaching up. Nice big stretch. And as you're doing this, you're also pushing through the opposite arm here. It's not just passively hanging out there, you're pushing it in and extending the elbow to keep it nice and supported. Down here, deep breath in. Breathe out, reach up, and everything's good. All good. Back down. Awesome. Okay, so from there, we're gonna do what we call a pike plank cobra reach. It's a bit of a mouthful, but this is how we do it. So you set yourself up very similar to what you just did, except feet are gonna be just a little bit wider. You still wanna maintain shoulder right over top of the index finger, so you get that front support again. So this would be considered the plank portion. We don't want the hips to be up really high, we actually want to tuck the pelvis under. So you shouldn't see your back all extended like so. You want to tuck the pelvis under, keep it a little bit more engaged. And that way you're going to feel a lot more of your core muscles working. So you're starting your plank, then you push back to downward dog position. You're going to take your left hand and you're going to reach for your right ankle and look through this triangle that you just created. You're going to feel a nice stretch out the back side of the legs and the lower back on the opposite side. Hold there. Come back to front, bring the hips down. Make sure you're looking up through the top of your skull as high as you can. So you're extending the spine. Come back in that plank, check in. Push back this downward dog. Now reaching with the other hand. Right hand is gonna grab the left ankle. Push through, grab the ankle. Look through this triangle. Come back to front, hips down, and looking up. Okay, let's try it again. Now, if you can't quite grab, quite grab your ankle, bring your hands back a bit, push up, still keeping the heels on the ground, and then reach for the knee, or just the upper calf area. And then again, try and pull your arm, pull your body through this triangle right here that you've created. Hold. And back to front. Hips down, looking up. And again, other side, pushing back. Again, if you can't, if you don't have the flexibility to get there, totally fine. You can still get a good stretch. But the intention is to go through the triangle that you just created. And extending this arm as well. And then back down. All right, once you've done that, crawl back, stand up. Now ready to get into the more intense aspects of the exercise program. So you're gonna do that uh, for 20 reps per exercise. 10 reps for the slow, uh, for the uh, lunges, and then for the last one there you do about five of those. It's all down in the online training program that you can download. You'll click the link in the description here, and all that information will be presented to you. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next one, but for now, let's get busy.